Hi, my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how does a planetary nebula turn into a white dwarf? So first let's talk about what a planetary nebula is. It starts like our sun, um, radiate energy through the fusion process. And in our sun, we turn hydrogen into helium and then helium into carbon. And that's as far as, as, far as we go in the nuclear process. So there's several stages after, uh, from the main fusion process to a planetary nebula. Um, one of them includes the becoming a red giant, and this happens when you run out of hydrogen and then you start fusing helium into carbon. So at some point, the star ends up with a carbon core with a helium fusing layer, and then you have a hydrogen fusing layer, and eventually, um, the helium fusion process is so unstable that it eventually throws off the entire atmosphere of the planet, uh, of the star, into space. And what you end up is with a carbon core and a really diffused cloud of gas. And this is called a planetary nebula. So this is when you have an exposed core surrounded by a cloud of diffused gas. So how do we go from here to a white dwarf? So in all honesty, a white dwarf is simply the exposed core. So it's the, it's the remnant of the star. So in fact, we already have a white dwarf here. Whenever the core is already exposed, we call that the white dwarf. And the reason that it looks white is because I mean, there's no longer any fusion going on. It's, the star is considered dead, but there's still a lot of heat trapped in the carbon core. So therefore it seems like it kind of glows, so it looks white. And um, so in a, from a planetary nebula to a white dwarf, all you have is the white dwarf at the center surrounded by a cool um, shell of diffused gas. And that's how you go from a planetary nebula to a white dwarf. My name is Eileen Pires, and I'm an astrophysicist.